Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can use ShareX in order to create automated workflows for taking screenshots and then performing certain actions with them. In this case, for an example, I'm going to be having it upload to the internet, delete the file on the computer so that it's only existing online and not locally, and then to shorten the URL with a URL shortener like bit.ly. And finally, to copy the URL to the computer's clipboard so that you can copy and paste the link anywhere you need it. So once again, this is just going to be one example, hopefully giving you an idea of some of the possibilities which you can use ShareX for. So if we click on the workflows menu, you can see the default workflows that exist here and the ability to add a custom workflow from the hotkey settings at the bottom. So that's what we're going to click on in a minute. Um, just to think of a workflow, you can think of it as all the steps that will occur when you choose a certain action. So if you choose to capture region, for instance, it's going to prompt you to select a region of the screen, any window, the full desktop, or a specified area. And then after that, it's going to save this screenshot to the computer on a specified file location. So in a sense, you could think of that as a multi-step workflow, though, of course, we can go more complicated with our custom. So let's go ahead and add a custom workflow at the bottom there. So in the hotkey settings, we want to click add to add a new custom workflow. So let's just kind of try to go top to bottom here and set it up properly. So at the top, we need to choose a base task. So we wanted to take a screen capture, upload it to the internet, and then shorten the URL. So our default task is going to be screen capture, and we can choose choose region. If you always wanted it to be an entire screen, your full desktop, then you could choose capture entire screen instead. But I think capture region just gives you more flexibility, being able to choose what you want on demand. So let's choose capture region. So for so for the description for this task, I'll give it something like capture, upload, and shorten URL for screen capture. I don't know, you could probably think of a better title than that, but it's reasonably descriptive. So next, let's override the after capture settings. So rather than using the defaults we have set up for our program, we'll set up some custom tasks. So inside of this, let's go ahead and see what we want. We don't want to capture the image to clipboard because we're only going to be uploading it online. So we don't even want it saving to file. Any task you want to turn off, you just click on it when it's bolded and that toggles it off. Uh, clicking on it when it's not bolded will make it bold and toggle it on as a task that's going to happen. So let's turn off the save image to file. Now we only have upload image to host, but just in case there's any remaining temporary file, I think I also want to delete the file locally. So I will add that in as an extra task here at the bottom. So upload image to host is already defaulted there. So we'll upload the image and then after that, it's going to delete any local files. Now we want to override the after upload settings. So this is going to be what's going to occur after the file is out there on the internet on the specified site, which defaults to ImageGur, but you can use many other uh, sites that host images inside of ShareX. So let's do override after upload settings. And we actually want to shorten the URL. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will use your default URL shortener. And if you want to set custom destinations for where you upload your images to, or what URL service you're using for your URL shortening, then you can check override destinations. So let's click here and we can see our image uploader is set to the defaults for ShareX. Uh, of course, you can customize them in the main settings for ShareX, and then that will change what pops up here by default. But let's do image uploader image GUR. Pretty handy if we just want to upload the image anonymously as well. And then the URL shortener, we can also leave this as bit.ly. So at this point, we've basically created our workflow. We have capture region as the task. It's going to upload it. It's going to delete any local files and not save any files to the computer. Then it's going to shorten the URL and give us the copied shortened URL. So let's go ahead and close out of this. In the hotkey settings, we can set a hotkey in order to activate this workflow using a key combination on our keyboard. So for instance, I could just click here and do, let's say, Control Alt Shift Q, something kind of random. I'm now I'll click X on this, and now we should be able to use this hotkey in order to activate the workflow, or we can go into the workflows menu and we can see our custom one down here as well, which we could activate by clicking on it. So one thing that we should probably do before we go ahead and use our workflow, or it won't work properly, is to authenticate and log in to the services we want to use. So in this case, uh, we can use ImageGur uh, anonymously. We don't need to log into that. But for Bitly, we do need to log into that in order to do the URL shortening. So the place where you can authenticate with your services is if you go up to destinations and the main menu, and then you go to destination settings, 
then you can find the settings for each service that you need. So we need to authenticate with Bitly down here at the bottom. So you can see I already went ahead and logged into this. What you need to do is just hit connect and it'll pull you up to the web page where you authenticate. Uh, you log in like normally and it'll give you a verification code. So you just copy and paste that in here, complete your authentication. It's relatively straightforward. For any other services you want to use with ShareX, it's going to be very similar as well. So if we go up here to Google Drive, you can see it's going to want you to connect and get a verification code, paste that in, complete the authorization. So relatively straightforward. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and test our screen capture workflow. So I'm going to do Control Alt Shift and then Q. And now we have the capture region uh, interface popping up. We also have the tools at the top if we want to draw any notes onto the screen before we take our screenshot. So for instance, I could draw a rectangle box around our new workflow, and I could use the arrow tool here to point an arrow at it. And now when we're ready to take our screen capture, I can go to the far left and choose rectangle region and select the area we want to capture in an image. So I'll just go ahead and select all of this. And it's going to upload to ImageGer, which is the service we selected for our screenshots. And hopefully after uh, it goes through Bitly, yes, there we have our link to the image that is actually hosted on ImageGer, but it's now URL shortened. And without clicking on it and copying the URL, we should have it copied to the clipboards. So I'm just going to open up Notepad and I'll hit Control V to paste it in. And there you can see we have our URL copied to the clipboard. Also, if we open up the screenshots folder here, we should not see a copy of this image. So we can see that the name of this one was a uh, KWNRC after the Explorer. We have an Explorer, but not one with that ending. So our screenshot does not exist there. It was not saved to the computer, or if it was, it was deleted anyway. So pretty much our workflow is working nicely here. The only real things you've got to make sure you do is to authenticate with all the services that you need so that each step can work properly and just set up your workflow to do whatever tasks you want it to do. So hopefully you can see how this can be a pretty big time saver. If you were using other tools than ShareX, you'd probably need to screen capture the image and then manually upload it to a site, which is you know, going to take some time, more than a few seconds. And then you would need to copy the URL over to a URL shortener and then manually take the shortened URL over to a social media site where you wanted to share it. By the way, you can also add in the sharing automatically. So if we go to workflows again and I edit our workflow here, then you can see that share URL is also an option here. So if you share the URL, you can choose a destination service for it. So if you choose to share the URL rather than copy the URL to a clipboard, then uh, you can go down to the URL sharing service and choose one of these platforms where you want to post the link onto. So the automation, fa so the automation factor of ShareX can be quite powerful. Uh, I hope I gave you guys a good idea of how to set up your own workflows and what possibilities you can use it for. In any case, that's going to be all for this video. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in my future video content.